World Health Organization investigators spent four weeks earlier this year in and around Wuhan, China, to research the origins of the COVID-19 pandemic. But in remarks about the final reports, the WHO's director general said China withheld data from investigators. The United States and 13 other countries on Tuesday promptly expressed concerns that the report was delayed and lacked access to complete data. The report lacks crucial data, information. White House Press Secretary Jen Psaki on Tuesday faulted China for not offering independent experts unfettered access. Well, they have not been transparent. They have not provided underlying data. That certainly doesn't qualify as, as cooperation. Uh, you know, the analysis performed to date from our experts, uh, you know, our, their concern is that there isn't additional support for one hypothesis. It doesn't lead us to any closer of an understanding or greater knowledge than we had six to nine months ago about the origin. It also doesn't provide us guidelines or, uh, or steps, uh, recommended steps, on how we should prevent this from happening in the future, and those are imperative. The WHO report said the virus had probably been transmitted from bats to humans through another animal, and that a lab leak was extremely unlikely as a cause. There are areas where we had difficulties uh, getting down to the raw data. And WHO's mission leader, Peter ben Emberic told reporters that second-phase studies were needed. He said the team felt political pressure, including from outside China, but that he was never pressed to remove anything from its final reports. Uh, in China, like in many other countries, there are uh, restrictions on uh, on, 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 and privacy laws that uh, uh, forbid the sharing of data, including uh, uh, private details uh, to outsiders, in particular if the data are moving out of the country. And Barrick also told reporters it was perfectly possible the virus had been circulating in November or October of 2019 around Wuhan, potentially spreading to other countries earlier than what has been documented so far.